Yeah, I rode, I rode this R1200 GS mostly because I wanted to see what our customers are riding. And I, I have a BMW HP2. It, it sits two or three inches higher, more ground clearance. It's probably 50 pounds lighter, if not more lighter. You know, I mean, I have a lot of stuff on mine. I have big tanks, but even so, it's a lot lighter and a lot more agile. And uh, on this trip, I didn't, I, I would have loved to take my HP2, but I wanted to see if the bike that my customers ride can do this kind of riding. And I, I knew it could, but I wanted to see how they were doing it with first-hand experience. And uh, one of the things about this trip that was different is that I rode from Seattle to the start, and it was really nice having that GS on that highway section and then uh, I was plenty warmed up and when I got to you know this technical desert riding I this GS could do anything I needed it to do. One thing I really liked about it was the electronic suspension adjustment which I didn't really adjust it I just set it at the hardest setting and I was amazed at how it didn't bottom out went through, I mean, that certainly did bottom out sometimes, but, you know, a couple times a day. But uh, in my past experience riding a GS on this kind of off-road, it would bottom out hundreds of times a day. And, and this was a vast difference. This 2011 bike really impressed me.